welcome back everyone this is Aid. I am back on the two crafty vanilla amplified SMP server and I'm gonna admit I haven't done a ton since the last episode really busy doing the basement and there was Thanksgiving and family and then catching up with other work and things that didn't get done during that time so I haven't had a lot of time to do so but I've, I've got a fun project that we're working on today and I just want to kind of show you, I decided this this is the road back to spawn. Decided to do all the tunnels on the on the road the same way we did in our base. So I've got this one started here. On the siding, I haven't decided what I'm going to do after we get out of this side of the tunnel. I'm thinking about doing it different the rest of the way to spawn. But for this part of the base, I did when I went ahead and just did the same thing. I was doing with the road shush your loud how'd you get all the way over here anyway? All the the road that's up there, this is the same kind of been thing I've been doing there, so I've been just doing that. I'm just gonna kill that guy. Oop, free gold sword. Uh but yeah, after the the tunnel ends I I don't know. I've gotta think about that part so I haven't done it yet. But we will think of something. If you have any ideas, feel free to let me know. It's just the empty cobble path that goes all the way to spawn especially the areas that float over the water I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with those uh, let's see what else have I done anything else I did I did do a couple little things let me put this crap away that I just got put that no nope. that one in there that one in there that one in there you can see I've got some emeralds in my bags I've been trading with some villagers I need to do a bunch more Let's go check on our slime ball output. I need to do a bunch more because we need to go restock Zaidmar. I haven't been over there for a little bit. I've converted half my little sugarcane farm here to a pumpkin farm because I was thinking about using some jack-o'-lanterns. So I've got that rolling. And I'll show you where those are going here in just a second. Let's come down to our slime farm chest while we're over here. I have... Well, I haven't had a, a lot of time to do too much on the server. I have been on the server a lot, just kind of AFKing and derping around and stuff. So we should have some down here. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's full. Okay, let's... I, I don't know how backed up the hoppers are. Let's take as much of that as we can, and we'll let that just kind of start filling up again. Got to check that more often, apparently. Um... But we do need slime for the project we're doing. I have plenty of it. We're using some slime blocks. We are finally going to get around to setting up an automatic sugarcane farm so we don't have to come down here and mine, or, well, harvest, I guess would be the more appropriate word. Harvest all of that sugarcane there. We'll just, whenever we want, be able to go out. There'll be a chest and we'll just pick it up because that's way better. I don't have any room in the chest up here, so we need to make these all slime blocks um, but yeah we're, we're gonna get an automatic sugarcane farm going and it is again just like last season of my own design exactly nine perfect um, but it is not the same design from last season I've got it started already and it's not finished in the sense that I don't know how big I want to make it. So it's not topped off yet, but I'm going to show you what I've done. The idea is, unlike last season, our main source of emeralds is not sugarcane. Sugarcane is more going to be used for paper to make books, to farm books from all of these librarians. And also, occasionally, you're going to have these guys, they'll lock their book, and I'll be able to just toss some paper at them to unlock and buy more of that book instead of having to buy all their junky books if they've only got one nice book on them for example so let's go ahead let's let's go out here where I'm building it let's take a look at what I've got started and kind of uh, behind the scenes of how it looks and, and that sort of thing so we've got our iron golem farm here and I've decided I kinda wanna any little farms I have if I can I'm gonna try to put them all back here together so I want it to kind of blend in. So you can see it's over there. I've got it started. The front from like this brown line around I think is probably how it's going to stay. The siding I very well will probably change. I'm not really liking 
the side just being all blocks like this but I've got to decide exactly how I want to do it because like these right here are furnaces they have to stay there and that is because any we have a bunch of slime blocks being used and those slime blocks they they can't touch other blocks because they'll push the blocks around but in order to, but we we do need blocks next to them so we have to use things like furnace blocks and things like that there are a few other choices that don't stick to a slime block so that we can have everything framed off so let I, I've just got two layers going here so far as you can see uh, I guess I'll I'll show you how it works let me let me show you some science here actually before we get started you just saw it fire right there. I'm going to jump into my creative world and we're going to just, for those of you who aren't aware, we're going to take a look at how slime blocks interact with pushing items. Alright, so here we are in my latest creative world. You might recognize some random things if we poke around here, but I want to do a little test here so we can show you the things that have changed in 1.8 that we couldn't do before. So previously if you had a sugarcane farm, you have your sugarcane grow up and you knock it off with a piston, the problem you had was sometimes the block of sugarcane would land on that spot right there. As you can see, sometimes it comes off, you know, you can see this one, but that's about as far as it's ever going to go. So that piece would have been okay, but every now and then like that one barely made it in the water. And if I can hit the button, there, there we go. That one would have gotten stuck. It would, if this water was flowing away into a hopper, for example, that sugar cane would be wasted. It would just sit there, and it would eventually despawn. So of course, there were plenty of designs. This, the uh, design I used last season, for example, you could kind of do some trickery, get the water raised up so it was at this level, and when they fell, it would kind of get sucked into the water. And you could do some interesting things like that. We don't have to do that anymore. So let's take one more look so you can see the difference. This is when a normal block hits the sugar cane or whatever item you're smacking. You can see the most it's ever going to go is just kind of either right there or somewhere in this little radius. It's not going to go any farther than that. Let, let me show you the difference when you push an item with a slime block. I'm going to kind of stand back as much as I can see. Hopefully you can see that piece of sugar cane on YouTube when I click this button. That one got stuck on top of the slime block, but hopefully you saw how it went. Let me, uh, I can, I can fix the sticking. Let's see, it's a decoration block. Furnaces will be the easiest thing to use. If I could actually click on, nah, top of the slime block, okay. Yeah, let's just do that. So in a farm, of course, you can have some kind of ceiling. We'll just do that all the way across. There we go. So let's try this again. So again, block, normal, doesn't really go anywhere. Slime block, however, if it doesn't get stuck on top of the slime block, bang. Every time, look at this. Do it again just to show you. Shoots way over there. All the way over here, that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Those sugarcane pieces from right there in this setup, for example, are being shot 12 blocks away. So that's an important principle to note. You can use this for farming things like sugarcane. And I'm going to show you how I've turned that concept with the new 1.8 slime block into an actual sugarcane farm. So let's jump back into the two crafty server and we'll take a little closer look at how the farm works all right here we are back on the server and back in the farm and using that principle that we just saw with the slime blocks if you look closely you can see as they almost hit me in the face I don't know if you just saw that sugarcane launch over there we have slime blocks all the way across and this is the first advantage to these the to the slime blocks It's not the only one there are two big advantages the first advantage there is just that you can see there's only one collection area is this water down here. When these slime blocks fire, they hit all the sugarcane and all that sugarcane just like on that little test we did on the creative server goes flying away. That's why there's this wall in front of our farm here. All of that sugarcane is just going to get launched and smack into that wall. 
when it smacks into that wall it's just going to fall straight down the water stream down here probably doesn't need to be quite this big i just felt like making it this big you honestly probably could though i haven't tested it just have a single row of water along the bottom um, but i just kind of like the way this worked I pr i'm thinking i need to slow these down there they're launching a little more than i thought they would <laughs> We'll look at that, and then we'll look at that later. Uh, but basically, all that happens, they fall down here, and then there is a gap of signs right here. So any of the sugar cane just lands right there. It's gonna fall down, land in this water stream. And if we go down here, you can see there's some sugar cane right there. And it's just gonna there's one hopper right there for now, and it ends up in the sugar cane in the chest. The sugar cane ends up in the chest. Wow, the sugar cane does not end up in the sugar cane. Okay. So that's the first advantage, is it's very easy to set up an entire farm of 100% efficiency. There's not going to be any lost sugarcane down here. I don't have to do anything funky with the water. I don't have to have crazy water on every single layer. I just have to have the one collection area, knock it all that way into the wall, and it's all good. So that's what's going on there. Now let me show you the other huge benefit to slime blocks. If you look right here, we have our row of pistons. Now, if you were using regular blocks, you would have to have a piston, a piston, a piston, a piston. I don't know how well you can see through these slime blocks, but let's come over here maybe and just knock this one out of the way. Look at that. There is only one piston for each section of 12 blocks. So this one piston pushes this block forward, but because they're slime blocks, they all stick to each other. That's why we have furnaces all around the edges where they move. And that one piston moves all of those sections. That one piston moves all of those sections. So for each row, each level, we have 24 areas of sugarcane with a block above them, and yet we only have two pistons. So that takes a huge load off of your server, off of your game, in that two pistons moves all of that. And also the redstone of this, check this out. So all we have is back here we just have a basic hopper timer. And that hopper timer, every time it ticks, just sends a pulse out into this block right here. And when it sends a pulse into this block, that right there is going to turn on. So this torch right here will turn off. And when it turns off, it's just a simple torch tower. That torch turns off, which unpowers this block right here. So this torch and this torch will turn on. As you just saw right there. Thank you for the example, game. This torch is powering this block, this air block that's right here, and therefore powers this piston and this piston, which pushes each of these rows forward. And this torch just powers this block right here. On top of that, there's a torch that's currently on. You can't quite see it, but it's basically just going back to this torch right here. So when that torch turns off, or sorry, when this torch turns on, that one turns off, which means the next row of torches turns on, and just like this layer here, you can see the torch sticking out, so it's just a repeating pattern. It's just a torch tower all the way up. Every other section is set to off with a torch on the front, and that torch powers that row of pistons, which of course is just these two pistons right there. As I jump back a little too far, let me get over here so I can get out. Uh, so that's all we got going on there. The The main thing that I have to do is I need to definitely work on the time. I'm standing here watching that and I'm thinking it's shooting a little too often. I don't want it to go too slow either, but I think I'm going to grab another. Right now I have two stacks of stuff in the hopper timer. I think I'm going to up it to three and see how that goes. Um, but I am going to also put a row, I think, of furnaces maybe down the middle just for looks. I'm not sure yet. That's the one thing. I haven't really decided. The edges, I don't like them. I just had to put them there so that it was kind of, you know, complete. I'm going to change them somehow. I'm not sure. I do want it to kind of look like it's coming out of the hill here. But, I don't know. I don't know. We'll look at it. I like the glass on the front so you can see in. I think that's a pretty pretty cool thing you can kind of see the farm and stuff um, possibly put a row of blocks in front of these furnaces and in front of the dirt to make it look nicer because it'll easily launch the sugarcane past that row so I may do that I don't know if you have any ideas of how this should look 
go ahead and hit me up. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments section. And yeah, I've definitely changing the sides, definitely doing some things. And as far as the height, once I get to the top, I'll do something on top, but I'm not sure. But I don't know how tall I want it yet because I'm just going to, right now it's not producing as fast as I want it to. So I'm definitely going to put at least one more row on. But then it's just, I'm going to add a row, let it run for a little bit, see how much sugar cane's coming out. If I decide that's not quite where I want it, I'm going to add another row, wait, see how it's doing, add another row, wait, see, till, see how it's doing. And once it starts to put out sugar cane as fast as I want it to, that's where the roof's going to be. But uh, in theory, you could, of course, just continually stack this as high as you wanted up to the, to the uh, uh, sky building limit. So this could be as big of a farm as you would like. Uh, if you'd like to see a, a more in-depth tutorial on it, watch my channel. I'm planning on doing one down the road. But that's that's what we got going on for now. Uh, just to cap things off, I am going to run back in the storage area. I'm going to grab all my emeralds. I know I need more on breaking and efficiency books at Zaidmart. So I'm going to grab those, and then I'm going to run over to Zaidmart. We're going to take a peek around, see if we have any diamonds waiting for us, and things of that nature. So I will see you over in the shopping district on the server. All right, we're over here at Zaidmart. Let's have a look. I haven't been over here for a little bit. Um, I guess let's first see if anything else is empty. We've got Fortune 3. A couple of those have been bought. Sharpness 5. Nobody's wanted those just yet. Efficiency 4. And I'm breaking. Both empty. Anybody got them? Somebody bought a feather falling. But the rest of those are okay for now. Uh, name tags. I can't remember how many I had in here, to be honest with you. Uh, still good on all that kind of stuff. Need to get some more stuff over here. And we will do that. But we've got uh, four unbreaking books. Keep these. Well, it doesn't matter. And four efficiency books. And look at that. Look at that. Eleven diamonds. We like that. Let's stick those in there. And we'll get those. We need to get some diamond picks. And uh, our, uh, we've got the chess places. Places, chess pieces. Swords. Axes. We need to get all those over here so people can use them for repairing stuff. Let's get the unbreaking in there. And the efficiency books in there. All right, that sounds good. Looking good. Looking good. There's some stuff coming on over here. It looks like Airy tore his project down. Is uh, these are the remnants? Arisia started to as kind of a semi prank sort of thing right here. He started copying Zaidmart, except he was making it a different color, and it was kind of interesting, but. He was doing it in a stream, and I guess he came and tore it all down later. But we also have a new shop. We've seen, of course, show Soap's Potion Shop. I cannot speak today. This is Soap's Trading Shop. Now, the idea is you can come in and trade various things for various things. I know he's selling random stuff that he's getting from his skeleton grinder mostly, but you can come over here. Looks like uh, he's got bows, he's got enchanted bows, various types of armor. Looks like he's basically selling everything for clay ball, clay balls. So can, if we ever want some stuff, we can get that. Just uh, some old stuff. Doesn't look like you can see the sign right here. It says D plans on building something over here. We'll see what that ends up being. But I think that's gonna do it for me today. Somebody has definitely bone mill all the grass right here. <laughs> I've been uh, streaming a little bit more, so if you're not following me on Twitch and you would like to be part of the live action, for example, the sugarcane farm we looked at today was built in a live stream on Twitch, so if you want to be a part of those, make sure you're following me on Twitch so you can see when I go live. You can also follow me on Twitter, because I always announce it there, of course. Leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Anything you want, say hello. That's just fine, too. Any ideas you've got? to work on on the server, any other things you'd like to see me do, even if it's not Minecraft related, hit me up with that. Or, uh, yeah, like I said, just just say hello, that's cool too. Hit me up on Twitter as well if you would like. And, of course, as always, check out the other two crafty members. There's some new ones we have actually 
I guess it's cool to say this publicly now. We are actually expanding the server from a YouTube exclusive server to a YouTube and streamer exclusive server. So we are gaining some people that are uh, not YouTubers, but they are streamers on the server. So you can watch people streaming live on the server as well. And of course, there are a few of the old YouTube people that are on the server that stream as well, just like myself. So I will try to get the description updated. I, uh, I'll definitely get the new guy, Angel Gaming Live. I'll get his Twitch link in the description. We'll see what else I can do with that. We're, gonna, we're always looking for more people that are either high quality YouTubers or streamers. And uh, of course, if you are aware of any really good YouTubers or streamers that maybe should uh, we should take a look at, feel free to feel free to name drop. That's cool too. Anyway, that's it for today. Looks like somebody's been growing a lot of trees over here at Spawn. Uh, I haven't showed it in my videos, but if you've been watching the other peeps, there is another iron golem farm rocking over here. This was mostly Anarchy and D. Random Obsessor built this. I know Arisia helped him a little bit. And then I think Anarchy put the storage in here alone. How's it doing? I haven't looked at it. Looks like it's been raided recently. A decent amount of iron chill in there. So now uh, people can stop stealing my iron. They can steal this iron instead. I mean, I know they, they're going to steal it anyway. Especially Jay, because he lives right over the mountain. Speaking of Jay, uh, if you don't watch Jay plays, keep an eye on his channel, because I know he got pranked. I was over there checking it out a little bit ago. I know he doesn't have any power right now because of an ice storm or something, but when he comes back, he's got something waiting for him over there. I think he's going to like it. But uh, I won't say anything else until those videos are out. This is, wow, this is actually, this looks really cool right here. Now that the road and stuff is in, I, I know D's been working on the road here. This goes all the way to our base now. This, this is just tunnel area right here. That looks awesome. That looks really cool. Hmm. Anyway, have a good day. Have a good week. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.